Okay, where's the planner? Like a rose abashed uh, of its crimson hue, fair Rosa would sink into the humorous blue. She shunned her lessons and Let's go down. We'll just go to swing her dwarf with, <laughs> with agility. Mm. Molly, I'll pop Molly. I wear Tom Ford. That's exciting, and all, but, you know. Look at all these motherfuckers I have to talk to. Seriously? Oh, Still here? Looking for something? Ah, just checking to see that everything's in place. Buggers might have hold something off for pawning. Actually, glad you're still here. Wanted to ask you about someone. Hmm. Like a rose abashed of its crimson hue, fair Rosa would sink into humor's blue. She shunned her lessons in civility. Civility. That's the word. Civility. Sorry. Dwarf. Never suspected he'd be so humble. <laughs> Dwarfs, what Rosavar Atre named her Guhir. Guhir. All right. But Varatra? Her dad happened to be the Nilfgaardian ambassador? He is. You know him? Wouldn't say that. Had a brief conversation with him at the palace in Vizima. Well, then you've a good notion of the kind of bloke he is. Commissioned Dandelion to tutor Rosa and her sister. In the art of rhetoric, but we Rosa preferred swordplay. How dare she reject the great bard in favor of a common swordmaster? More than one, it seems. Week on week, we get fresh gossip about her thrashing another instructor. So bad he resigns. Word has it her dad's now looking to hire our next victim. I mean, instructor. I don't pop. Though well she knows the touch of summer town. Must... Embrace. Molly, keeps things tidy for the Baroness La Valette. A Baroness within reach and he settled for a chambermaid? Daniel Lyons is not one to judge folk by their station. You know that. Like he says, in the alcove, we're all equals. Yeah, guess a true poet observes life in all its aspects, examines it from all perspectives. If I didn't know him better, I'd say he was jealous about this Marabella. Oh, I doubt it. Former pupil. And <laughs> well, the tales he told me about her. Doubt I want to hear them. Probably better off not. Things between them took a turn for the strange at some point. Meaning? She had him wearing mummers costumes. Took to call him Mummers. Referring to herself as Anastasia. Huh. Truly perverse. She <laughs> didn't get half of it. Called him a stallion once. That's the fool took it as a compliment. Till she pulled a bit in the reins into her cupboard. <laughs> what did he say? The bastard <laughs> fled out the window. Dude. <laughs> Name rings a bell. Zoltan. She threw his knickers out the window. That's her. Hollered something about him being a scoundrel with a voice like a consumptive pheasant. That's her. Threw flower pots at him. Yes, soul flames never die. A figure most rare, her nature dual. Look deep in her eyes or be made a fool. Well, well. Seems fascinated with this one. Ah, uh, not without reason. Never been much for elven women myself, but this one's exceptional. Dare say Francesca Finderbeard be jealous. You want to take this one, then? Nah, you can have her. Why? You see, elven beauty's like a young Beauclair wine. Whereas I prefer vodka, straight up. Well, know about all I wanted to know. Thanks for your help. Thanks, young guy.
evil. Hello, are we here? Are we lurking? We are. Spooky music playing now. <laughs> uh. I will get you every last copper. With interest. Give me a week, please. Horson's no banker. He's an honest man. You pay on time, you get protection. You don't pay. Whoa. Help! What you hollering for, stupid wench? What are you hoping for? A knight in shining armor? That's a fuck these motherfuckers. Keep out of this greyhead, not your concern. The spew has got someone else's protection now. Really? Who's that be? Mine. Offered her a better rate. All right. So, let's see if you're a good bargain, or just cheap shit. And bring it on, bitch. What the f- I'm level 12, bitch. I'm level 12. Burn, baby, burn. me wrong I'm grateful but everything I had I just lost relax it'll come out in the wash of course it will just got to soak it in white vinegar but that's not my point junior shan't forgive me either I'll close up shop myself or he'll burn me down sorry didn't think about this story is magnificent Men fun and we're Turn up. With a mess. oh well I suppose I must move to Oxenfurt. Professors need clean undergarments too. Don't know if you remember. We've met. I don't... Wait. Wait, I know you. You're that witcher I near clobbered with a vase when... Well... When you kicked Dandelion out. Through the balcony. Actually, he's the reason I'm here. Know where he is. Probably out whoring. That horse pheasant. That lion scoundrel. Ouch. What did he do to get your goat? Same thing as ever. Prize bullshitter came back saying it was too Prize bullshitter. This time, friend. No more than a week passed before I spotted him in Harborside, strolling with some trollop on his arm. Mm, trollop. It was the last straw. All those questions about the washerwomen at the bathhouse, then this. I beat him black and blue and threw him out on his ear. Dandelion ask you about other washerwomen? Not terribly subtle, even for him. Maybe he likes some sudsy. Uh, maybe. But what did he ask about, exactly? Oh, this and that, really. What's it like at the bathhouse? Have I got any friends there? What are their working hours? I don't know. Maybe he's looking to hire one for his tavern. Maybe I've got all in a huff for no reason. This woman he was with in the harbor. Who was she? Claimed she was his niece from Covia. <laughs> Horvier, more likely. Mm -hmm. she was so her eyes were popping out her head. He's too come to think of it. An artist or a whore. Doesn't much matter as the one in the same. Thanks for your help. 
Listen, when I find Dandelion, anything I should tell him? No. I mean, tell him he's a two-faced snake, but it would be nice if he dropped by. <laughs> Yo, wow. Girls, dude. Girls. The insults are on point. Fuck, my weapon's breaking. <sighs> Sorry. Hey, hold on now. Wait a minute. Why? Really? Matching in a new socket. What's this do? <sighs> yeah, the dialogue is gangster. Dude, this game is fucking awesome, dude. Hold on. So bad again, I'm sorry, hold on. Hold on. Dude. <sighs> yeah, the the ping, the beer is causing a lot of shit. Um tinkling. Alright, what are we doing? Talking to somebody else? Name. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, baby. You should probably get out of this rain and stop doing laundry out here. You feel me? I'm a friend of Dandelions, looking for Ellie Howe. You've come to the right spot. How might I be of service? Need something shortened? Patch your trousers, oh. down your socks. You, Eliel? Yes. Now pick your jaw up off the floor. Sorry. Relax, my G. Thought Eliel was one of Dandelion's girlfriends. Oh, so it's that. Wait here. Any better? Oh boy. So you are. Caitlyn Jenner. Did you and Dandelion? I mean, how did you two meet? I met <sighs> one night in a tavern. 
and he was blind drunk. What happened? What do you think? We spoke. <laughs> That's it. I'm not sure what you're getting at, but I should make one thing clear. Men don't interest me. Told him that as well. Luckily, Yo, Daniel Caitlyn Jenner. Minded fellow. We had a lovely evening. He became a loyal customer afterwards. My God. I know this is none of my business, but why do you? Why do I dress up? As a child, I dreamt of becoming a Doppler when I grew up. I became a tailor instead. Discovered clothing. <laughs> Michael. Express all the complexities of uh. his personality. I'm a Redanian countess one day, a dockside thug the next. That is true freedom. Mm -hmm. Damn, Carol. Become someone else, even for a moment. Must be horribly boring being a witcher all the time. I managed to stay interested. What did you and Dandelion talk about? He ask about anything in particular? Let me think. Had an ordinary chat, really. Although, indeed, he did keep asking about Kalkstein. If Dandelion and I hadn't left oh. our cards on the table at the start, I might have suspected he had a history with the alchemist. He spoke like a lovesick beau. In fact, he desperately wished to meet with him. Kalkstein's in Novigrad? Wouldn't mind seeing him myself. You're too late, I fear. The witch hunters nabbed him recently, burned him at the stake in Hierarch Square. But as he perished, ooh, the goings on, impressive. Fiery beasts circled his pyre, then rose into the sky and exploded to form letters. <laughs> A what? What did they spell? Radovid sucks flaccid <laughs> Did this game. Dandelion visit your shop often? I tried many times to talk him into a decent doublet. Sadly, he'd only come in to get a button reaffixed or a hole patched. When did you last see him? Some time ago. He brought in one of Zoltan's jerkins, insisted I sew on an extra pocket. Odd as requests go, I had the distinct feeling he'd actually come to talk. Thanks for your help. And uh, nice to meet you. I can help with much more. If you need new trousers or a vest, you know where to find me. Uh huh. See you, baby. You like running around, sort of rumors. Get out of the rain, bitch. Stop talking. <laughs> Move, nerds. The weather is shitty so so often in this game. I mean, just so often. One of those guards is just sleeping. We could get on our horse, people, but we're hoofing it. We're hoofing it. Hello. You got water on the brain. How are you, sir? Welcome. Hmm. Strange. <laughs> Everyone say hello to Bob Boys, please. Welcome this mother trucker. Mm, to the fiesta. Oh, right on, Bob boys. Sir, I, oh, speak of speaking of the devil, sir. I've got to save it. I know we're about to level up. Oh, we've got a ability point here, my G. Wait a minute. Okay, stop, stop. Let's go here. Ooh.
Powerful. Powerful Bob Boys. I didn't know I had one of these mutagens. You, f you know? Meanwhile, there are a thousand of these. Gotta get rid of. Um. does dude the quests in this game are um I don't know man fun but even I don't know dude it's a good time man they're interesting dude they're layered they're like super layered it's like uh one quest will go on and on and on um, very interesting. Oh. Quite a bit, my man. Uh, the witches, the crone witches, yeah. I haven't, I haven't. <laughs> Yo, I feel like I need... <sighs> that right there has got to happen, I feel like. Hold R2. Wait. Activate. Right there. Uh -huh. I'm going for just a signs and attack build, dude. I'm ignoring this shit. Pretty much completely. Free the spirit? Which spirit? Which spirit? You can say it, dude. It's okay. I don't mind. This Baronet's love for Lexton. Shouldn't interest you. The Baroness don't mingle with just anyone. Mm -hmm. I'm here to see your chambermaid. Come on. I freed him. Out of the way. Baroness is riding now. Be gone. Yeah, I let that, that demon out of that tree. Greetings, Witcher. Must admit it's curious to see you here. I don't quite believe in coincidences. Geralt of Rivia. Slayer of monsters, and my son. You're right, General. My visit's no accident. I'm looking for someone. There's no one here who wishes to see you. Captain, this man is not to enter. Forgive me, Morvran, but I've lost my appetite for the races. Christ almighty. Kill a woman's son and appear at her doorstep. My, my. I thought witches had better survival skills than that. Looking for a girl named Molly. Heard she works here. I feel your information's out of date. Molly no longer works here. That's the way I saw my ma'am. Seem to know who Molly is. You also know she doesn't work here anymore. Know where I can find her, maybe? This time of day? Probably sipping punch. That's how I saw Bob Boys. Just like, look, those kids are being held at, against their will. I just do not. After Arian's demise. Luis's nephew came to pay his respects. Got one clance of Molly and, well, they wed soon after. They now await his inheritance. With the Baroness's son dead, the estate will go to the nephew and Lady Lata, known until recently simply as Molly. Gotta wonder if Molly fell for the nephew or his inheritance. We cannot know that just yet. But either way, she has strong feelings for both. All right, so where'll I find the newly minted Lady Latar? 
Our dear little Molly has a new passion, horse racing. To my knowledge, she should be at Countess Vagelbud's villa right now. That's exactly where I'm going. Since you stripped me of Louise's company, perhaps you'd agree to come along. Sure. Well, if Molly will be there. On our way, then. Let's go, sir. Yeah, these quests just get better and better, dude. I think the first quest that really got me like, yo, Witcher 3 is popping, was... Fuck, I can't remember now. Might have been the Crohn's one. <sighs> Folks, I have got to go soon, honestly. I'm getting tired. Of, uh, my fucking... I can't see. My vision is so shit. Seriously, like... Reading that chat is... I have to strain my eyes. With the glasses on. Oh, God, life. Life, people, life. We've arrived. Nice place. I must say, of all the creatures in this region, I find steeds most intriguing. Horses interest you at all, Witcher? All the same to me. Call each one I ride Roach. Strange. <laughs> the Grey is Cantarella, sired by Cahir, the champion from Vorn. Yeah. Grey's a good color. Even looks good on horses. My coin's on the Black Stallion, Nemroth, purest Nilfgaardian stock. Surprised he didn't salute you, General. <laughs> Bob boys, that's alright, dude. Seem to know your horses. I find them to be far more honest than men. That's okay, okay dude. You can always we could go back, dude. We can go back and, and begin anew, my what friend. What would you say to a little race? Not what I came here for. Don't make me beg, Witcher. Tell you what, win, and I shall give you my finest saddle, made in Nilfgaard proper of beautifully tanned leather. All right, let's race. Hmm. Why not? Wouldn't mind seeing if your knowledge of horses translates into riding skills. <laughs> Splendid. In that case, you must choose a mount. Thirty plus. Jesus Christ, my friend. I had no idea. That's wild. I'm going um Thunderbolt. Mm -hmm. Redanian chestnut looks promising. In that case, I shall try my luck on the Zeracanian Bay. The horses are saddled. Let's begin. This might end up poorly, my friends. I'm about to race. And I've been drinking, so... This might be bad. Oh, fuck. All right, dude. Don't spare the horse. We just gotta. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I adore the speed, the rush of air. Yeah, I've made some, honestly, some gnarly decisions in the game that make you think, like, yo, I really don't know what to do right here. Have you done the Bloody Baron quest, my friend? Spoilers, people. I just win. The roach I chose put in a nice run. Exceptional. I've not lost the race in a while. I congratulate you. That was that was dope, right? Ah, look, Lady Latar has just arrived. Who? The Molly. woman formerly known as Molly. There she stands. Right. Thanks. I shall be here for a time. 
Find me if you'd like to ride back to the city together. How long, like, you see how long this quest goes on? I love it, man. I really enjoy it. I'll decide between the black stallion and the gray mare. Keep going back and forth, back and forth. Sorry, don't believe we've been introduced. I'm Geralt. Geralt? That Geralt? The one Dandelion's rescued time and time again? That's right. Except it's the other way around. I'm always saving him. Mean to say it weren't Dandelion saved you in Flotsam by severing your noose with an arrow from an hundred paces? What? Dandelion couldn't... <sighs> Never mind. Any idea where our master archer might be at the moment? No. Sadly, I haven't got a clue. We've not seen each other in ages. Ever since I became Lady mm. Lockhart, it's been nothing but balls, banquets, and other such... What's it? Congregations. Awful tiring, all this. But... <laughs> or maybe his sister could help you. Hey, Bob boys. Do me a favor, dog. Follow the channel. Um, because I'm going to... After this quest, I'm going to call it a night. We're going to wrap it up. So, if you follow, you can, I'm sure you know, you'll be notified when I go live. And dog, you can come back here. We've got some cool people here, usually. Um, Any chance you remember your last conversation with Dandelion? Course. It's your choice. He came to borrow some coin for a barge. What? Why do you need a barge? To take me on a romantic cruise of the canals by the light of the moon. <sighs> he said there'd be strawberries and that wine with the bubbles, and he'd sing me arias. But I've not seen him since. I'm under the impression Dandelion thinks you still serve the lavalettes. Oh, that's because I never told him I stopped. Didn't want him to treat me any different. And your husband has nothing against it? Your old friendship? Of course not. Sweetie Kings couldn't be happier that Dandelion is with sophistication. You do realize Dandelion doesn't have a sister? Sure he does. Saw him himself. Funny, she don't look like him at all. Blonde, for starters. I would Maybe imagine I'm bird. sleepy as well. Mm -hmm. My fucking vision. Mothers too. Maybe. But you could see he cares for her, looks after her, the way he carried her packages and... Know where I can find her, Dandelion's sister? I know. Whenever I ask Dandelion when we visit her, he'd grow all quiet and then change the subject. You do realize Dandelion doesn't have a sister? Sure he does. Saw him himself. Funny, she don't look like him at all. Blonde, for starters. Maybe they're different fathers. Mm-hmm. Different mothers, too. Maybe. But you could see he cares for her. Looks after her. The way he carried her packages and... Know where I can find her, Dandelion's sister? I know. Whenever I ask Dan... Thanks, Molly. I already... <laughs> my bad, I already <laughs> asked her that question. Request. <laughs> Dandelion told me once he'd show me his etchings. But he never did. I'd so like to see him. Won't be too hard to convince him. He loves showing off those etchings to anyone he can. Oh, that's wonderful. Thanks. And good luck to you on Malika, your Malika, darling. What the fuck? God, dude, girl. So exaggerated, my dude. Airbrained, all of them. This is my roach, dude. This is my roachy. Good night, Nubby. Yeah, dude, I'm... I 
I don't know Slower. where I'm fucking going right now. Honestly, hold on. What's this? Where am I going? I love you, buddy. Um, good night, dude. Fuck, man. You know what? I'm about to save it. Hold on. Look, if anyone's willing to, um, wake up, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Because I have to do, um... I, do, I really need to get my tires changed tomorrow. Uh... Before I go to my mom's. Oh. <sighs> Sorry. <clears throat> Alright, I'm gonna go to bed. I'm gonna go to bled. bed. Sorry, blood bed. You know. It's a letter. There's a letter. There's a letter in there that shouldn't belong. It's different. Uh, you know. Look. Forgive me. I love you all. Uh. Malika, I'm going to text you. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Michael, Baja Blast, Bob, <laughs> Bob Boy, um, Michael, thanks for the follow, my guy. Yeah, I'm heading heading off. I might I might be streaming a little bit tomorrow morning. I doubt it. You might not see me on here for a hot minute, to be real, my people. But I love you. Um, got a blood, dude. <laughs> dude. Kisses, people. I'm gonna text that sweet baby right there and uh, retire. I've got man, I've got these gym shorts. Oh, I have to do laundry tomorrow for sure. I have no clean underwear, so I can't see. Um, good night. <laughs> 